three, so three z, right, equals twenty plus z, right? Okay. Now, which one do we undo first, right? We're gonna undo. Let's look at our appendix. Which one comes first? Hmm. I see multiplication coming first, so we're going to undo that last. Undo addition first, right? Undoing addition, right? So we've got 3z, 20 plus z. Okay, so I'm going to subtract by z. And notice, what do we notice? There's no number in front of z. Whenever you have a variable by itself, it's really equal to the same thing, but a 1 in front. When you have a z, it's really equal to 1z. So then I'm going to go back and place in all the 1s, so that way we won't forget. So now it might look a little bit better now. So you have... So you have... 3z minus 1z, right? What would that be? 2z's equal, and over here, they just cancel out. The positive 1z and negative 1z cancel out. You get 20, right? So 2z equals 20. Now, you know that whenever you have a constant and a variable next to each other, that's a coefficient of 2. So 2 is multiplying z. So undo multiplication, division, Divide by the number, 2. So you get z equals 20. Remember, this means division, that line in the middle. 20 divided by 2, and that's 10. So z equals what? 10.